It would be a better morning if we could rally our investors. <laughs> I do have an idea for a new investment strategy. So it's a brighter morning already. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'd like to apologize for accusing you of corrupting the file. I was out of line. More likely out of your mind. You know, I let the heat of the moment get the best of me, and I was blinded by my own anger. I made a mess of things with Chandler Media, and I'd like to make it up to you. you you've done enough, Jay. I'd like to offer to smooth things over with the investors. You'll let them know that I, I made a lot of mistakes, you know, but we're a team, and I, I'm ready to work my ass off again. That's very considerate of you. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too late. Because of your misunderstanding, the rest of the investors have pulled out. Morrison was going to talk to them. He joined them. Mitch and the others have decided it's a better bet to invest in Cortec. It's a totally different kind of investment. Yeah, and, and one that they feel safer with. Yeah, it's ironic, isn't it? Palmer Cortland's son is a genius at running his father's company. Adam Chandler's son seems to have a genius for screwing things up. Dimitri. I deserve that. Look, I had a very big opportunity. I admit that, and I blew it. But I promise you, it is not going to happen again. You're damn right it won't. JR, you're still getting your sea legs. There's more than enough time for us to figure out the way that you can make a contribution to the company. Great. Thank you. I want nothing more than be an asset to Chandler. This, uh, this turnaround on Brooke corrupting that file? You have any idea who did it? I have my suspicions. Care to share? You want to be an asset? Do you think you could have sucked up any harder? Trust me, little sister. I've got a plan. Well, if it isn't Pine Valley's own ex-police chief. Beautiful day, isn't it? Not anymore. Dark cloud. Mm -hmm. So, how's the unemployed life going? Must be tough, huh? Stepping down from top cop. The disgrace. Oh, and that scene at the gala. Wow. Were you drunk? Yeah, I screwed up. Now I suggest you get out of my face before I screw up again, you idiot. We're hiring security guards over at Cortec. <laughs> I'd be glad to put in a good word for you. You are funny. Like a disease. What? Would you really turn down a legitimate job offer when no one else in town will hire you? I mean, come on. Oh, that's right. You don't need any money, do you? Because wifey's been taking care of you for years. Why don't you slither back to that slimy gutter of a home of yours before I strike you? Go ahead, Hubbard. Do it. I dare you. Add battery to your growing list of charges. You won't be able to get a job as a paper boy. <clears throat> like my father used to say to reprobates like you, you ain't worth shooting. Mm. Or maybe you just lost your nerve. But hey, that's all you ever had anyway, isn't it? I'll tell you what, you should accept the fact that you're a loser, Hubbard. And one of these days, your wife is going to wake up, and she's going to realize that she can do a hell of a lot better. Enjoy your extended vacation. And the day brightens as the snake slithers away. David? Yeah. You said we could always be honest with each other, right? Well, that's the least we can do for each other. I need the truth. Now. Did you ruin JR's reel? <sighs> Is this a Chandler family trait? Paranoia? Conspiracies? Okay, it's not paranoia if it's true. Is JR the one that fed you this theory? I'm still waiting for your <sighs> answer. Typical JR. He does something wrong, and of course, someone else has to be blamed for it. If you did do it, you're a jerk. I didn't say I did, all right? But I do think that JR needs to learn some lessons. Would it be so horrible if you just let him be? The man who killed Marissa and destroyed Babe's life? You want me to cut him some slack? You're kidding, right? 
You don't know me very well if you think for one second I'm going to forget what he did. Look, I'm sorry. Your daughters are dead. But don't you think jr has been punished enough? No, no, I'm sorry, but I cannot agree with you there. And I'm hoping that you're not intending to fight for him. What do you expect? He's my brother. We're family. And we, my dear Colby, are allies. Those were your words, not mine. Okay, I will not help you destroy my brother. Since when did you care so much about JR? He's my only family member I have left. My mom went AWOL and my dad, I mean... You just remember who gave you 30 grand when you needed it. Was it JR? No. Was it your daddy? Absolutely not. It was me. And I'd be happy to do it again for you, Colby. I just might be the only one who's really there for you, sweetie. Okay? We need to set up a production meeting for the DC interview. Brooke! Production meeting. Oh, yes, of course. All right, all right, this has got to stop. Two words, sentences, minimal communication. Now, I know we weren't going to talk about it, but I think we have to. It shouldn't have happened. It did. <sighs> then can we just move past it? We have a lot of work to do. Brooke, we have been in each other's lives for years. It's not a whim on my part. We've been friends. It do you get how beautiful you are? Dimitri, no, that, that sparkle when you got a new idea, your laugh, that wicked sense of humor. I want that. I, I want all of that, Brooke. I'm with Adam. Then why isn't he here with you? He would be here if he could. If a woman like you loved me, I wouldn't be halfway around the world sending uh, flowers and apologies. Well, he has a company that he's trying to rebuild. <laughs> when I am with you, I have these feelings. Feelings that I thought were dead. When we almost kissed, in that moment, you felt it too. I knew you did. I'm sorry, Demetria. I love Adam. Thank you, Mark. I believe in, you know, honesty, but you have, you've put me in a difficult position. I'm not going to apologize for telling you how I feel. The kiss? Well, uh, have you ever... Knowing me to sit back and let life happen? No. <laughs> You've always gone for the gusto, but, you know, look where that's left me. I've lost investors, and now I may lose a, a valuable employee. Whew, Brooke, I never expected this to happen, but it has. Do you want me to leave? No, I just want things to go back to the way they were. I think that we are amazing partners professionally. And I think the two of us can take Chandler out of this mess and make it bigger and better than it ever was. We just have to leave all the rest at the door. Mm, pretend nothing's happened. Nothing has to change. I mean, what happened isn't a problem unless we let it be. I'm willing to forget the whole thing. Are you? That was a hell of a kiss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if that's what you want, you've got it. Partners? <clears throat> Brooke. 